Hello, welcome to another episode of The Zoo. Today, we're going to talk about what's hot in IT. Katie Tierney, my good friend, is probably one of the most qualified people to tell us that because she always talks to customers, always talks to analysts, and she always nags on the engineering. So she knows from every angle what's happening right now, what trends are pulling us. Thank you for joining The Zoo again, Katie. Well, thank you for having me, Alf. It's nice to be back. I sort of feel like we're on the e-network and we're doing a, a red carpet review of what's hot and what's not in IT. Yes. Who it's, wore it best? And that's really the, the angle we're taking here. Uh, what, what is, what's happening out there right now? What is something that you see every day in your work? Yeah, there's, there's a couple of really big things that are happening. The first one is gadgets. Mm. And, you know, we've always had gadgets. Even before tech, you, you had gadgets. You had a slide rule. That was a gadget. Mm. And nowadays, it's getting even hotter within the number and types of gadgets. It's, it's going to be crazy. We look at things like tiles. I can keep track of a kid's homework folder with a tile. It's crazy. Next so, thing. Yeah, you're talking more about the internet of things in general or you, uh, specific widgets and so on? Well, I'm, I'm talking more of the specific widgets, and I really hate the term Internet of Things. I think it's the silliest term in the world because guess what? It's life. It's just the way life goes. And it, I, I would love it if we would just stop saying Internet of Things and just start saying life. It might be a little bit too. Because in St. Louis, they don't really see the Internet of Things as life. But, um, but I see where you go. Anyway, you were, you were talking about tiles to check your children's... Uh, home, yeah. uh, home. Um, so they don't use their, their silly notebooks. I mean, it's those types of things. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. when you were a kid, if you lost your notebook, you lost your notebook. Mm -hmm. There wasn't yeah. some gadget attached to the back of it so you could go find it. That's very true. It's very true. And I, I thought about that, um, how you communicate now with text and so on. You always let each other know where you are and what's happening. And um, uh, We talk about it. We come off from college and something was would be changed in the house. No one told me that. So I just showed up and there there it was. Uh, versus today, I'd be fully aware this moment it happened. And like, how did that work? How, I would have been so shocked that I didn't have the information immediately available to me. So, so your parents did not rent out your room? <laughs> no, like, my, room my roommate reorganized her whole house for a party once. And I found our bed on the street. Anyway, different story. Uh, <clears throat> so, 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 this was, so do you use many of those in your own life? Yeah, I'm definitely, if you just look at the wearables, we've all got the Fitbits. Of course, I would normally show you mine, except I forgot it at home because it was charging last night. I didn't sleep in it, so it didn't track my sleep, and I forgot to put it back on this morning when I left. But it's, it's the, the, the sleep is almost the most exciting thing to track, I think, at least. It's it's interesting because then I can always tell my, my poor husband, look, see, I really didn't sleep last night. <laughs> you do the dishes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm too tired. So, you know, I think that that those types of, of gadgets, what you're seeing in cars with all the Wi-Fi enabled cars, it really, it's about having toys, but toys that help you live differently and live more easily. Yeah, I know. I can't wait for the self-driving cars to come. You just stumble into one of those every day, go to work work on the way and um, I think that control. Do you see this being trans so, so so this is quite common in the in the consumer world, but what about the enterprise world? Do we see this type of explosion in gadgets and so on there too? I I think we we see it in the people. Um, I think one of the things that you you've used in the past is that work is no longer a place. And I love that terminology. You see it when I go meet with customers, they, they've got all the gadgets. They're using them to make their lives easier. Smart watches are a perfect example. We were talking with a customer just last week and she had her smart watch and she said, you know what would be the coolest thing? If I could get my ticket on my smart watch so that I don't even have to open up a phone yeah. to do it. Yeah. So, you know, those gadgets are going to start driving conversations with customers about service management. It's funny, just a few years ago, you said tickets on smartwatch, they would just sound like something silly. Now we have requests for 
Take it yeah, to a smart watch. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And why way, wouldn't it be, right? Yeah, we can do it, just so you know. <laughs> and by the way, if anyone hears this, this is not a binding show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else What else have you seen out there that's exciting? So the other thing that, that I'm seeing that I'm finding very interesting, and I don't know how it's going to affect corporations long term, is virtual reality. You saw that weird picture of Mark Zuckerberg walking down the aisle and all those people had their VR headsets on. It looked really creepy. It looked really spooky. But I think that, you know, you've got big players in the space who want to take over the space and you've got people who want those experiences in their lives. I'm just not sure how they're going to take on the the enterprise. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, it's um, I know one of the people over there at the at their 3D world at, at, at Facebook, and they're taking this very seriously. And it's going to change the world forever. And they are looking desperately for the industry use cases there. Because they, they know that the consumer world, the gaming world, they're already conquered that. That's, that. that's fine. It's just going to grow by itself. But how do you get surgeons to start doing surgery with these things? And I would rather that they stood right over me. Yeah, I would, I would rather them be there, but makes me more of a human when they're cutting me open. Yeah. But I think, you know, you see Facebook already moving into this Facebook for business and it's anything they do, they're going to start in the, they're going to start in the consumer space, but they're going to move to the enterprise space. No, very much. And what else? The third one I'm, I'm finding interesting uh, just uh, last week, I think yeah. it was GE announced their Predix cloud. So I see a lot of companies pushing things towards AWS and towards Google and now towards GE. And as the the cloud, if, if you want to call it that, becomes bigger, there are going to be some other big entrants. I was really surprised. I, I guess I didn't I should have I shouldn't be surprised that GE came into the market, but I was surprised that GE came into the market. But they've got their 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 version of Azure, their version yeah. of AWS. They've got it. Yeah. And customers in the industry want that because they're trying to push off as much as they can out of their infrastructure and, and push it onto someone else. Well, many of us once said it, and people used to make fun of him, that everything will be in, eventually will be in the cloud. And say, oh, there's a lot of things that won't be. Well, no, but eventually everything will be in the cloud. There will be, there will be no more servers on the ground, if you will. Um, well, there will be servers and, on the ground somewhere. Yes, but you know, they will yeah. no longer be in the, in the local network. Right. It will all be what? And, and I think even GE, with all their smart grads working there, to figure that out. I mean, someone must have said something. Because what's exciting is that this shows that BMC was not that late to the cloud. After all, oh, no. look at we, were, we were early <laughs> because a lot of our customers do not jump on the cloud bandwagon as eagerly as the media trends to portray it. Like everything's going SaaS, and yes, one day everything will be the cloud. But right now, we're far, far from there. Um, let me ask you: this. What can we do? Or what, what? Where are we? And what can we do to change our customers or the market generals? Almost skepticism to cloud. Why isn't everybody 100% cloud? Because it makes sense. Why doesn't it to everybody? Well, I think that a lot of it has to do with education about the security. Everybody is scared about security. People lose jobs. People could potentially go to jail over cybersecurity in their data centers. And they feel like if they have control over it, that it makes it safer. And I think we've got to get past that Oh, if, it, if I'm not controlling it, it's not secure. And there, there are huge banks. There are huge federal government agencies who still somewhat have that mindset. And it's just a matter of, of continuing to prove out the security of the cloud, whatever cloud you're going to. I think, it's, um, I think that is the biggest obstacle we have to overcome. I think mobility has even more traction than cloud. Yeah. People are less scared of mobility, if you will. Using that now, I don't know. Now, it's kind of interesting because mobility would be last year would be uh, sorry, cloud would last year would be in one of the top trends. So it's hot, and we sort of come to a plateau there. It's no longer not hot. It's there. It's working. It's growing, but it's no longer a super cool thing anymore. Cloud has become very old, and and, and I find that interesting. Our uh, tension. 
Well, thank you so much, Katie, for coming to the zoo. I really appreciate your company every time. We should do this more often. We should, Al. Thanks so much. Thank you. For the rest of you out there, take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.